Chloe, so today I'm doing the Shopaholic tag and I was tagged by Makeup by Mandy 24 to do this tag so that is why I'm doing it so thank you Mandy for tagging me. I tag all of you to do this and I will tag specific people in the down bar but please do this even if I don't tag you because I want everyone to do it. Okay, so the first question is would you consider yourself a Shopaholic and yes, I definitely would consider myself a Shopaholic. Just to give you a little... A little idea of how much of a shopaholic I am um, like three weekends ago I went to the mall with my best friend Susie and you guys saw that haul and then a week later I went to the mall again with my mom and my sister and you guys saw that vlog and then a couple days after that I went to Target and every single time I bought a bunch of clothes I am obsessed with shopping and clothes especially since it's spring now I've been wanting a lot of like colorful bright fun clothes so I've just been shopping a lot because all the clothes I have are like really warm like dark colored clothes which just don't go well with spring especially where I live because it is so hot right now whenever I go traveling I just love to go shopping like that's the main thing I do when I travel to like New York California anywhere how would you classify your style um I don't really I mean there's not like a classification for it but I would say like bright and fun and cute and not too mature very girly I would say but not like too girly I don't know my style like my style varies all the time. Sometimes I like to be like more grunge and sometimes I like to be like really bright and girly. So it like, it really changes all the time. It's just whatever mood I'm in. It also really depends like what the trends are at the time because I usually just go with the trend. What store can you not leave without buying at least one thing? And I know Amanda said this, but Brandy Melville and I mean, it's like, I was trying to think of another store because I didn't want to copy her, but it is literally like, the only store that I can go in and not come out with something because since I don't have a brandy near me oh since I don't have a brandy near me I only go when I go on trips to California and New York or wherever else there's a brandy so whenever I go I like have to get something the thing I love about Brandy Melville is the prices the prices are so great there when I'm shopping whenever I'm buying something I always like look at look at the price and be like oh this is the same price as Brandy Melville but I would love like a Brandy Melville thing so much more but then when you walk into Brandy you love everything so it's so hard to choose where do you find the best deal definitely cotton on I find the best deals at cotton on all the time they have literally like they have really cute um, fashionable clothes for really inexpensive they're like so inexpensive um, I've gotten shirts there for like a dollar and fifty cents when they've had crazy sales. They always have crazy sales, which is like stuff like really on sale and then like plus a bunch of percent off and it's just crazy the sales they have. There's like a rack of things for just like five bucks. So I love it there. I mean, they always, I can always find something that I like that's really inexpensive there. What designer are you willing to splurge for? Um, there's probably a couple designers I would splurge for. If it's like a bag, I would definitely splurge for like Rebecca Minkoff because I have that bag. Probably like Marc Jacobs or, I mean, Coach or something because I feel like a bag, like you can definitely splurge on a bag because it's like you're carrying around all the time. Like when I have a bag, I carry around that same bag for like a year. So it's not like a clothing item which you're like buying like so expensive and you're only going to wear it like... 10 times at most or something. Oh, also another brand that I will definitely splurge on is Steve Madden because I am obsessed with their shoes. I just cannot get enough of Steve Madden shoes. Do you have a go-to shopping outfit? No, I don't. I just put on whatever I want to wear because, I mean, you're shopping, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, probably shorts. Shorts and like a loose top and sandals, which aren't the best choice for shopping because you're walking around a lot, but I don't make the best choices all the time. Okay, so the next question is, what is your shopping guilty pleasure? I'm going to say a bathing suit because I am obsessed with bikinis. Like, I am so obsessed with bikinis. It's crazy. Especially since where I live, like, I'm always at the beach because that's all people do where I live. I always get a bikini. I'll go into Victoria's Secret, get something, maybe like H&M, and I'll buy bikinis online. Like, nonstop, just buying bikinis. I am just so obsessed. And if you would like to see a bikini collection, tell me in the comments below because I was thinking of doing one but I wasn't sure if everyone would enjoy that. Summer is coming up and I thought it might be a helpful video. What is one staple clothing piece you cannot live without? Okay, so there's not like a single piece of clothing in my closet, but it'd be probably like as a general, be probably dresses. It is just too hot to wear jeans, like way too hot. 
and also shorts dresses and shorts because that's like mainly what I'm always wearing what is a trend you hope never goes out of style probably like cut off shirts I'm wearing one right now it's like really cut off so I mean yeah I just wore it because I knew that you guys wouldn't see the bottom of me I knew that you just see the top but I just showed you the bottom so I kind of just contradicted myself I really love like cut off tops especially if I'm going to the beach I just think they're so fun and carefree and like loose and just I love them because I get really hot like I'm just one of those people who's naturally always hot like if you touch me I'm like burning and if you ever meet me I'll tell you I'll go up to you this is kind of weird I go up to you and be like touch my stomach because my stomach is always like a, like really really hot and all my friends know that too because I make them touch my stomach I'm like my stomach's so hot right now what trend did you love that passed away too quickly um oh okay so probably those like circle skirts because I feel like Circle skirts were like really quick and they're kind of still in but I feel like they had like their peak in winter and now they're like not that in and I bought one and I was planning on wearing it like all the time and now I barely even wear it and I could still wear it if I wanted to but I just feel like it's not like as in anymore. Who is your fashion icon? Okay so I have a couple fashion icons. I have like famous ones and not famous ones. So for famous people I have like um... Kendall Jenner, I love Kendall Jenner's style. I used to love like Kylie Jenner and I still do love her style but I feel like she's kind of like slacking a little because I mean she like, I mean she wore like a Misfits like sweatshirt to the Kids Choice Awards. I don't know, I feel like she used to have a lot better style and now she's kind of slacking but I mean Kendall, I still love Kendall's style. I, I used to love Kylie's style but I mean she is stylish, she just she, I mean, she goes her own way, which is fine, but it's just not for me. Miley Cyrus also definitely, because she's very, like, hipster and just, like, I don't know, chill. And I love that style. And then for not famous, I have a bunch of, like, Instagram. Hannah is a wild party, and I don't know if you guys are following her, but she, um, I mean, she has, like, the most amazing pictures on Instagram. She's my favorite Instagram. So if you're not following Hannah's Wild Party, you should definitely go follow her and comment on her pictures and tell her that I sent you if you would like to. You don't have to, but if you'd like to. And, yeah, I just love her style. It's just very, like, cute and fun. Also, um, I don't know if you know Zoe and, like, Krista and all those girls. I don't know if you guys know who I'm talking about, but there's just these girls who, like, always have they take they basically only wear Brandy Melville and they take they do a lot of pictures like all they do is take pictures of like themselves and Brandy Melville like these kind of pictures Zoe would like one two three four five six seven like seven O's or something so you can look them up if you want but I love all their fashion senses they're just like a bunch of girls they all tag each other in the pictures so you could just look all of them and probably Madison Beer and I just found out that she watches my videos. She commented on one of my pictures and she's like, oh my god, I can't believe you're following me. And then I was like, whoa. So yeah, that is the finished video. If you do this tag, please leave it as a video response because I would love to see all your answers. And I will list who I tag below. If I don't tag you below, still do it because I would love to see your video. If you have any requests, as always, leave them below. And yeah, I will talk to you later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you.